Thomas and Friends Storytime Thomas's Animal Friends A podcast story for kids Starring Thomas the Tank Engine Based on the Railway Series by the Reverend W. Audrey Created by Britt Olcroft Read by Mark Morahan and Friends This is a story about Thomas the Tank Engine Thomas is a cheeky blue steam engine He is the number one engine on Sir Topham Hatt's railway and has a whistle that sounds like this. So let's begin our story. Thomas's Animal Friends It was a beautiful summer morning on the island of Sodor. Thomas was very excited. He had a special delivery to collect from Brendam Docks. Along the way, Thomas met his friend Percy, the small green engine. Morning, Thomas. Where are you off to? Hi, Percy. I'm collecting some monkeys to take to the new monkey habitat at the animal park. Monkeys are so funny. They always make me laugh. (laughs) Me too, Percy. I love (gasps) monkeys. Whoa! As Thomas and Percy reached the docks, They had to stop suddenly. There were monkeys running all over the place. Oh no! They've escaped! The cheeky monkeys were causing trouble everywhere. There were monkeys swinging from Cranky's crane arm and jumping on Salty the Dockside Diesel. Ow! (laughs) What did I tell you, Thomas? Monkeys are hilarious! Thomas wondered how they were going to catch all the monkeys. Then he spotted a big crate of fruit and an idea flew into his funnel. Salty, the fruit crates! Knock over the fruit crates! But the monkeys were climbing all over Salty and he couldn't move. I can't see! There's too many of them! Oh, my me paintwork! Hold on, everyone! So Thomas puffed forward and bashed into the crates. The crates tipped over, spilling fruit all over the tracks. The monkeys hurried to the crates and began eating the fruit. Oh! And soon the dock workers had rounded up all the monkeys and everything was back to normal. A little while later, Thomas and the monkeys arrived at the animal park. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting on the platform, looking at his watch. Sorry I was late, sir. We had a few problems down at the docks. Sir Topham Hatt found a banana stuck to Thomas's buffer. So I see. Anyway, there's no time to waste. The opening of the new monkey habitat is a very special event. And I still need you to pick up the passengers. First, you need to get in costume, Thomas. Oh, great, sir. I once took part in a fancy costume contest in India. It was so much fun. So, what will my costume be, sir? A monkey, of course, to help celebrate the special event. (laughs) So Thomas's face was painted to look just like a monkey. (laughs) Dickles! He wore two big round fluffy ears on top of his boiler and a long curly monkey tail was attached to his cab. Thomas loved his new costume. How do I look? Very cheeky. (laughs) (laughs) So Thomas headed off towards Vickerstown to collect passengers to take to the animal park. He hadn't gone far when he passed Gordon, the big engine. Express coming through! (gasps) What on earth? Hello, Gordon! Gordon wasn't impressed with Thomas's monkey costume. Engines dressed as animals? Oh, the indignity! Thomas tried to explain. I'm helping out at the animal park. But Gordon was already too far away to hear. A little later, Thomas was waiting at a red signal when Diesel pulled up beside him. Tom, 
Thomas, do you know what you look like? <laughs> a cheeky monkey? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to tell the other Diesels about this! <laughs> and Diesel hurried off laughing. Now Thomas was beginning to feel a bit silly in his monkey costume. Thomas had almost reached Vickers Town Station when he saw James and Percy up ahead. Oh, look! A grumpy monkey! <laughs> hey, Percy! Look at Thomas! <laughs> you too, Percy? Percy tried to tell Thomas that he wasn't being unkind. Thomas! I only laughed because he looked so funny. But Thomas wasn't listening. Oh, this monkey costume makes me feel silly. Why did I ever agree to it? Thomas didn't like being teased, and he didn't want anyone else to make fun of him. So he tried to hide himself on a siding. Then Rebecca passed by. She saw Thomas and stopped to see what was wrong. Huh? Thomas? Thomas was sure Rebecca was going to make fun of him, just like the other engines had done. Go on then, laugh at me. I don't care. Rebecca looked at Thomas's painted monkey face, his big ears and his curly tail. She smiled. But why would I laugh at you? You look brilliant. Well, I feel silly. I'm supposed to take the children to the animal park, but the other engines keep laughing at me. I know. From now on, if anyone laughs at you, just imagine them as an animal. Just picture it, Thomas. So together, Thomas and Rebecca imagined the other engines wearing animal costumes, with their faces painted like animals. Gordon's big and strong. He's been around a long time, so he'd be an elephant. Thomas imagined Gordon as a big grey elephant with a long trunk. Oh, the indignant! James would be a proud lion. Thomas pictured James as a bright yellow lion with a shaggy orange mane around his face. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> Percy is so kind, he's a pretty special engine So he'd be a rare and gentle panda Thomas thought of Percy as a smiling black and white panda With soft fluffy fur <laughs> Panda! <laughs> what about you, Rebecca? <laughs> I'd be a leopard because I'm fast and graceful <laughs> Rawr! <laughs> well, what would I be? Obviously, you'd be a monkey. Your costume's perfect. Do you really think that? I know it. The kids you're taking to the animal park will love it. So now Thomas didn't feel so silly about wearing his monkey costume. He raced away to pick up the children. At Vickers Town Station, the children cheered when they saw Cheeky Monkey Thomas. Yay! Rebecca was right! They do love me as a Cheeky Monkey! Then Gordon arrived. Really, Thomas? You look ridiculous. Thomas remembered what Rebecca had said, and he imagined Gordon dressed as an elephant. <laughs> huh, silly monkey Thomas. But this time Thomas took no notice of Gordon. Thomas was proud to be wearing his monkey costume. It wasn't long before Thomas arrived at the animal park. The excited children hurried into the park to see the real monkeys. Thank you, Thomas. You did a great job. I think it's really useful to have a cheeky monkey on hand for times like these. Anytime, sir. Whenever you need help, just ask for Cheeky Monkey Thomas. <laughs> the end.
Listen out for other adventures with Thomas and Friends Storytime. Parents, if you like what you heard, please leave us a review and subscribe wherever you listen to your podcasts. Tell your friends too. Thomas and Friends is a registered trademark of Galen Thomas Limited.